In today's video, we're going to test out something several of you wanted to see. What happens when you freeze dry bacon? What does it do to it? Guys, real quick, just wanted to let you know, Callie and I are going to be at Salt Lake City Fan X, September 5th through 7th. It's a huge comic convention. It should be a lot of fun. We're gonna be doing meet and greets and signing stuff and doing photo ops. Uh, if you're interested in getting a photo op, they are limited, so get yours now. Click the link down in the description. We hope to see you there. Guys, we've got a lot of bacon. Of That's bacon. three pounds of it. This is what, 12 ounces? 10 ounces of turkey bacon. Several of you have asked to see what happens if we put bacon in our freeze dryer. Freeze dryers do a really good job of pulling all of the water out of stuff. Freezes it down, pulls a vacuum, and then slowly heats it back up, at which point the water goes from frozen to vapor without ever going into a liquid phase. So it pulls the water out without getting the stuff wet. It just pulls the water out while it's still frozen. It's pretty cool, uh, but what it doesn't do is pull oil or fat out of stuff. We have tried this with meat in the past. We've done this with steak, and we've actually done this with several different types of fast food meals. I don't think we've ever tried it with pork. I don't think we or have. Or turkey. I don't think we've tried either of these before. Mm -mm. Here's the basic idea. We've got classic and turkey bacon, and we're going to see what happens when you freeze dry it, both cooked and raw. How will it cook after it's been freeze dried, and can you turn it into a powder? And it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens if you pull all of the liquid out, because there is water in bacon, but then of course there's obviously a lot of fat. And it's also cured, both of these, the second ingredient after the meat that they're made with is water, so. We're going to cook some of both of them and leave some raw, and then we're going to try freeze drying all of it. Is freeze dried cooked bacon even any different? Is there any moisture left to pull out of it? So the first step is we're going to open both of these and we're going to cook some of them up. We've got a plate of cooked bacon, we've got some of our raw bacon, now we're gonna put it on our freeze drying trays. I think we'll do one for cooked turkey, one for cooked pork, raw turkey, raw pork. That should Cheer probably out. do it. All right guys, start fighting in the comments. Super crispy or slightly chewy bacon. Nate Go. likes his bacon like this, right? That's what you said? That's, that's too much, but these, the, so that that's one got okay. overdone because of the wrong pan. These four, are, I think all look pretty good. See how you can hold Oh, no, I don't. Nope. That's, See, that that's, part's... that's, I like it when it's still a little bit, It yeah, it breaks, but it's still a little bit. And I don't want to touch anything, but here, pick, pick this one up by that side there. See the whole piece of bacon just holds its shape when you hold it at one end, that's, that's ideal. That's a little too cooked for me. All right, everything's in the Harvest Right freeze dryer, and we're gonna let this go till tomorrow. It should take 20, 24 hours, something like that. We'll take it out and see what's happened. Will the cooked bacon have changed at all? And what will have happened to the uncooked bacon? I'm very curious to see how it will cook after it's been freeze dried. A lot of the cooking process is removing all of the moisture, and then once it's gone, it really fries up all crispy. But this should remove all the moisture for us so what's that going to do to the cooking process? And what's the texture gonna be like? Is it gonna be extra, extra crispy? Is it gonna be crumbly? It's just gonna be interesting to see what it does. We've got all of our freeze dried bacon here. I am actually very curious about uh, the, the grease that seems to have escaped from our cooked bacon. Is that freeze dried turkey bacon? Is it any different from the unfreeze dried turkey bacon? It's not. I think it's crispier. It's crispier. That might just be because it's dry, like yep. old. I know you wanted to talk about it, but I want to eat it. Mm. That's a great thing to talk about. Yeah, okay, so that is crunchier. That actually may have a little bit more flavor, and I'm wondering if it's because it was in the freeze dryer with the cooked bacon. Huh. That is extremely crunchy bacon now. Wow. There's that more flavor tastes, to both. Yeah, I think that honestly tastes more concentrated bacon flavor. I think I actually like this more than regular turkey bacon. That was, it's almost a cracker consistency now, but it's not bad. Anything that you put in there that's got too much fat in it, when everything freezes and they pull that water out, the fat stays behind. So you can actually see that here. This is still just basically a regular piece of bacon that got frozen. Honestly, this is like hyper concentrated. This tastes mm -hmm. stronger than normal bacon. It does. I'm curious about our, yeah. Our bacon fat fried turkey bacon that's now been freeze dried. Yeah, that's so crispy. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a chip. Okay, well this is like styrofoam. 
I've never smelled stale meat, but it smells kind of like. It just smells like bacon. It's not a strong smell, but I, for the most, oh yeah, that yeah, just but, snapped right in half. See that part's that part's just like yeah, pure fat, fat with nothing else in it. But yeah, this part. Yeah, that is kind of styrofoamy. Is the turkey bacon the same? I bet this breaks even oh, yeah. more easily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so here's my thought. I want to try cooking, just putting the bacon directly in a pan. Okay. But then I also want to try putting down a layer of oil and seeing what happens if you like deep fry it kind of cooking. It doesn't seem to cook the same way. Like look at the, there's like the meat part and then there's the fat part. Yeah. And the meat part is getting really dark. The fat part's just kind of chilling. Fat part's getting like a golden brown. But the meat part is turning like dark. So that's your first piece of deep fried. This was the testing the deep fried. Yes. All right. Test the piece that I just tossed in the pan. Oh. Remember how we were saying it kind of had a styrofoam texture? Mm -hmm. It still has kind of a styrofoam texture. <laughs> still styrofoam? That's strange. It's just like, like it's bacon, but it's kind of fluffy. Yeah. Okay. Which isn't really the description you want for bacon. That's another piece of your deep fried. Now, the pieces that I'm breaking apart here, this is um, pan fried. Pan fried, just toss it in. Let's see. Same thing. It tastes like bacon, but the texture is styrofoam. Yeah, the turkey bacon's sort of flattening out on its own. Do you want to well, put Yeah, let's do turkey bacon into the oil. Here it goes. I think it's done. Yeah, that was, you're that done. That took three seconds. So the entire studio smelled amazing until about two seconds ago when we first tossed the turkey bacon into the oil and we put it in the pan. All of the regular bacon is smelling fantastic. The turkey bacon, as soon as it touched the heat, started giving off this almost acetic smell, which isn't really what you want when you cook bacon, but I'm so curious to know. Does it taste sour? Nope. It has almost exactly the same flavor. Once you start chewing it, it does go sour in your mouth. Mmm, mmm. That's burning. That's like a burnt something. Three seconds was too long. And that's the weirdest. Let's see what happens if I put it in for like two seconds. Here goes. One, well, The fact that two. it's made that sort of. And that's it, I'm taking it out right there. Okay. All right, so our two second bacon does look different from our three second bacon. So that maybe it's- some color. Maybe it's not as burned tasting. It's too hot. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing. So this is pan fried turkey bacon. This was delicious though. So the color really didn't change too much on the freeze dried versus freeze dried raw. So this one, cooked this first. one was cooked and then freeze dried. This was raw and then freeze dried. I think you can actually taste the turkey in that now. It tastes a lot like the, um, the meat from Panda Express that we freeze dried that one time. Huh. That's what that tastes like to me. I don't have any experience in this, but I suspect that tastes like dog food. This was freeze dried raw. And freeze then pan dried, fried. pan fried, yep. So the texture was fantastic, but I was not expecting just that much oil to hit my mouth at that time. So like that was, that was odd. We're cooking up the rest of the pork bacon and we're gonna be doing the pan cooking, not the deep frying. The deep frying does this weird thing where it cooks very unevenly. All of the meat stripe bits in the bacon just turn very, very dark. And this one got overcooked either way. Even the fat portions are overcooked. Yeah, it doesn't cook as evenly and I don't think we get as good of a result. Plus it's bacon, it has enough fat. We don't need to deep fry it. Cooked and then freeze dried turkey bacon. You know what I would love this with? Hummus. Like, I know that sounds weird, but like, Using these as like little crackers or something for a dip. <laughs> I think that'd be really good because it does have more flavor than like a cracker. Not as much flavor as you would expect from bacon, but there's still, there's still a little bit of that smokiness. It's still salty. It still has some of that savory flavor. So using these as like a chip with a dip would be actually pretty amazing. So these are the last of our freeze dried wow raw turkey bacon. And we just decided we're gonna chuck them. They're no longer, no longer worthwhile to us. So. Goodbye, turkey bacon. Uh, we would not recommend freeze drying raw turkey bacon and then trying to bring it back to life. Bacon we're having varying success with. It's actually turning out pretty okay, but our turkey bacon, not the best way to go. If it's cooked and then you freeze dry it, that's not too bad. So I think that freeze drying it, it does a few things. The texture has changed. It definitely Absolutely. is more like puffy, fluffy, styrofoamy. Yep. And sometimes that could actually be good. 
Like it's really easy to chew through. Uh, overall, I would say the best tasting thing we've had so far is definitely the regular bacon cooked and then freeze dried. I do feel like the freeze drying process brings out a little bit more flavor somehow. It's pretty strong, like I like it. It's, it's a good, strong bacon flavor. If you want your bacon really hot and fresh, not the way to do it, of course. Guys, that's it for today, but you know we've always got more 4DC. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.